Brutal cold follows massive winter storm on much of East Coast. East Coast residents are bracing for a deep freeze a day after a massive winter storm slammed the region with heavy snow, hurricane force winds, and coastal flooding. Forecasters predict that record-breaking cold air and strong winds will set people's teeth chattering from the mid-Atlantic to New England Friday and that the frigid weather will hang around through the weekend. The storm began two days ago in the Gulf of Mexico and first struck the Florida panhandle. By Thursday, it was wreaking havoc as blizzard warnings and states of emergency went into effect along the eastern seaboard. Wind gusts hit more than 70 miles per hour in places and some areas saw as much as 18 inches of snow. The storm caused school and business closings, airline and rail service cancellations or reductions and thousands of utilities outages, many of them restored quickly. Some ferry services even had to be shut down along the Canadian coast. In the south, Tallahassee, Florida, saw snow and residents of southeast Georgia were treated to a rare half foot of snow. In New England, the powerful winds brought coastal flooding that reached historic levels in some communities with icy water overflowing piers, streets, and restaurants and stranding some people who had to be rescued. Follow along with updates below as the storm works its way up the coast. All times eastern unless otherwise indicated. 928A. M. Eroding coastline worries Maine man. The storm dumped more than a foot of snow in parts of Maine, CBS News correspondent Jerica Duncan reports from Saco, south of Portland. Along the coast, powerful winds led to some of the worst tidal flooding in four decades. Over the last decade, Sean Walker has seen how an eroding coastline in Saco threatens homes. My childhood memories are being washed away, Walker said. On Thursday, he watched the storm pound the area once again. What's kind of going through your mind? Duncan asked Walker. Cross your fingers, he said. Really, cross your fingers and hope for the best. 905A. M. Supermoon intensified record coastal flooding. The storm's coastal flooding in New England reached levels not seen since the blizzard of 1978, CBS News correspondent Don Dollar reports from Boston. When floodwaters receded, the plummeting temperatures turned any left behind into ice. The record flooding was caused by a disastrous mix of events. The storm hit during high tide, which was intensified by Monday's supermoon. It was just coming down, and it was like up to my waist said Jennifer Camatee of Marshfield, Massachusetts. I couldn't get back. The National Guard used high water trucks and even a bucket loader to rescue families stranded in their homes. It was scary, and I wanted to get out, said Nicole Camatee. They came up to the front door and they like he put me over his shoulders and put me in the car. 725A. M. Major airports resuming operations. Flights suspended at John F. Kennedy International Airport because of Thursday's massive snowstorm resumed Friday. Flights were suspended at JFK due to strong winds and whiteout conditions. Air traffic suspensions at LaGuardia Airport have been lifted, but authorities advise passengers to contact their airlines regarding specific flights. The flight tracking site FlightAware reports nearly 5,000 cancelled flights across the United States. Those flights include more than two-thirds of flights in and out of New York City and Boston airports. 645A M. Progress vs. Outages. Utility companies across the East reported some 21,000 homes and businesses had no electricity in the wake of the storm early Friday, down from almost 80,000 the day before, as crews fanned out to fix downed power lines and other problems, according to the Reuters news agency. 336 A. M. Deadly toll grows. CBS News has confirmed 19 deaths from the huge storm and bone chilling cold. Among them, Several from traffic accidents, a body found on the shore of Lake Winnebago in Fond du Lac County, Wisconsin a death attributed to exposure and a man Greenup County, Kentucky who had no heat or electricity in the camper he was found in. 245A. M. Chile, Chile stuff. The Arctic blast forecast to hit much of the Upper East Coast this weekend could make temperatures feel as low as minus 15 degrees from Philadelphia to Boston Friday and make residents of states such as Maryland and Virginia shiver from temperatures ranging from 10 to 15 degrees. This is chilly, chilly stuff, Brian Hurley, a meteorologist with the National Weather Service's Weather Prediction Center in College Park, Maryland, said Thursday. Coastal areas in the Northeast, Hurley said, may experience numbing single digits. He South won't be spared, either. Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, and Georgia can expect temperatures around 15 degrees to 20 degrees, Hurley said. Northern Florida will be in the 20s to low 30s. 
Sunday morning should bring the coldest temperatures from Portland, Maine, to Washington, D. C. That's when you'll see records being challenged or broken, with temperatures at or near zero in many places, Hurley said. More seasonable weather is expected to return early next week with temperatures in the high 30s and near 40s, he said. For some, it will feel downright balmy. Thursday, Jan. 4.